Good morning, OT. I'm here with Ms. Dabkowski, and we're doing a green screen thing because we're having some fun with this because it's ugly sweater day, mm -hmm. as you can kind of see And I here. have floating hands. But she's got her green in the sweater, so go ahead, hold, hold it up, and you can probably see right through to the nice rainbow road behind you there. So we decided to leave that there and leave her in, in pieces on the screen, mm -hmm. so we're not going to even fool with that. Um, and we, Ms. Dabkowski, this is first year at OT. Yes. And where were you before OT? I was at Monroe Township High School. Okay. And she has something she uses in her math class that I thought would be kind of cool to talk about. It would be useful not only across math class, but I can see other teachers picking it up at the lower levels, even at the uh, OTIS school and whatnot. Um, and what do you call it? So it's called a DigiKeeper. And I can't take credit for the idea. I did get it um, from two teachers. They did a presentation on it from Edison and they were actually using it in their classes for English. And I saw it and I really liked it because it's a way of just students organizing all of their files in one spot, especially using Google Drive, which was really helpful. And what I was really excited about when I saw the idea was that students have, they take notes and then they just, they throw out their notes or it gets lost in a backpack or at the bottom of their locker. And I like no, that that never happens. Oh, not, not to me when <laughs> I was in school. Never get lost. No. So I love that they can look back and with math, everything builds upon one another. So they can see their stuff from the first chapter and how they need it for the second chapter if they ever need to go back. So. So for all of you students with that backpack that has the black hole of the universe that everything disappears into, you put it in there and two seconds later you go in to get the same thing out and it already disappeared in the black hole. This thing is right now, you showed me this yes. and I, I became very interested in how you were doing it. Mm -hmm. You were working out some problems on how to get the, the uh, pictures onto it and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it now and she'll explain it. All right, so this is the home page for the DigiKeeper, which is the DigiKeeper comes from the 80s and 90s Trapper Keeper. So the whole thing about that was just having the outside of your binder decorated. So this is something, the first page, I have it set up that it's a get to know me a little bit about the students. So I just did some of my favorite things and I put some pictures, butterflies, the mall for shopping, Shake Shack, and ice cream. So especially if you're implementing this at the beginning of the semester, it's a way to get to know your students a little bit better. This is just a demo for the semester. So I did, um, you can do a different page for each unit. So I just did it for polynomials. And what I did is over on the left over here, I have students can incorporate their notes that they took in class on paper. For a different subject, it might be easier for students to type notes, but for math, it's easier to handwrite. So all students have to do is just create a Google Doc, and I have them do it on their Chromebooks, and then they can take a picture either on their phone or using their Chromebook, the camera on there, and then they just take a picture of their notes. And they put it on a Google Doc, stretch it to the size of the doc so it's nice and big and clear. Mm -hmm. um, now, so now their notes are permanent, and if they lose them, no big deal. If they lose the originals that they wrote, I like what's on that right side. Mm -hmm. For you as a teacher in particular, uh, what's that all about? So a big thing that I found with homework a lot of times, you know, if students don't do it or students might just copy it, but the big thing about homework is practice for them. It's just like if you're practicing a sport. So also, too, is just going back, checking their work the next day, but also, too, reflecting on their work. So what did they get wrong? Why did they get it wrong? What do they need to work on in the future to improve, to help them grow? And we've talked about this in other classes, about the idea of how important reflection is at the end of any activity, project, whatever. And now I'm looking at it and saying to myself, since I'm the one who went out and helped roll the digital portfolios out to the classes last year, that after you do some homework that you really conquered and you've struggled with but finally got through, you might be kind of proud of the fact that you, you were persistent and got through. And this would be a great piece maybe to put on your own digital portfolio uh, that the kids are making for their own classes. And then uh, if we, as we scroll down, what's down there? So what I also like about this is that you can incorporate everything. So I do some flip classes for my students or even just video lessons in case if students were absent or if they just need a refresher after a while. So these are videos the students can just embed the link so if they went back to study, everything is here in one spot. So their notes, their tutorials, reflection, mm -hmm. can't beat that. What a great idea. Yeah. 
So there you have it. Hopefully some of you can use a DigiKeeper. Math, history, science, anywhere where there's handwritten note taking, not worrying about losing them. Uh, I like your first page where you got to know something about your students as well and they have some fun with it. So here we are, our import from Monroe. Monroe. And we got lucky getting Mr. Dabkowski, so.